This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics. And today I wanted to talk about something that people have been saying for a while now and that is that PGX overgrades their books. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is I have been collecting slab books since around 2014. I've used all three major companies. I've used PGX, I've used CGC, and I've used CBCS. And I've noticed over the years, especially watching lots of people's videos all over the comic book community, that it's sometimes hit or miss with all three companies. So I just want to show an example of a book, and you let me know... Because I had, uh, I do the PGX unboxings, and I've heard people say that one of the books in particular has been overgraded by PGX, which I do not agree with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of the same book graded by CGC, and you let me know, is the book that I have overgraded, or do you think they're pretty spot on? Because one thing that I want to mention, and it seems that some people just don't want to be open-minded when it comes to grading... A grading service is only as good or bad as its graders, and it's basically going to be up to the own individual's interpretation of what they think a grade should be. So it's not etched in stone because you could take a comic from any company, take it out of the slab, and send it back to that company ten times, and I guarantee you that all ten times it will not be the same grade. So keep that in mind and have an open mind. That's why I always say all three companies have their pluses and minuses. And for anyone to say only one company will over or undergrade a book is just not being honest because I've seen both CGC and CBCS where some of their grades have been questionable. So, I mean, again, it goes by individual's interpretation of the book. And let me show you an example. So let me pause this for a second. Okay, so here we have a copy of Showcase 22, which is the first appearance of Hal Jordan and the first Silver Age appearance of the Green Lantern. Very iconic, very desirable book, one I would highly recommend to get if you have the opportunity. Now, recently I showed a video, and I will show it after this, um, I did an unboxing where my Showcase 22 came back a 3.0, and there were people saying that, oh, PGX overgraded it. So I wanted to show an example. Now, I'm hiding the grade for the moment so you can see. So I'm just going to point out a couple of things about this book. Now, the first thing you'll notice is from here all the way across is a tear. Now, right here, this shadowing, that's tape. So this has been torn not all the way to the edge, but like 95% of this and could be basically torn off at any moment. So the person was smart by getting this slabbed. Now you could see here, there is what looks like to be a, a date stamp. There is also an indent that goes along there. Now that could, to be fair, that could be the reflection of the person taking the picture. I don't know because the picture is a little bit blurry. But even if that's not the case, you could see there's a lot of dirt, some stains along here. The spine has a lot of color breaks. But I also want you to see this. See right there? And see it's going to pop up. But see all the way in the bottom right here? Watch when this moves. See the hole punch? So it's got hole punches. It's got stains. It's got a rip with tape. It's got a date stamp. Now let me show you the back of the book. You could see there's more tape here. And as a matter of fact, um, if you look at the front cover of this book, they also say that there is tape on the interior of this book. So this was graded by CGC. So before I show the grade, pause the video and you tell me in the comment section what grade do you think this book got. So let's see how many people will give a grade to this book without actually first seeing it. So pause it for a second and then tell us what you think the grade was. 
All right, so I'm assuming people have paused it and they left their comment of what they thought the grade was. So again, this is a CGC book, so let's lift this up. And you can see that the Showcase 22, and again, as you see, CGC, they graded this a 1.8 with light tan to off-white pages. And here talks about the hole punch and then tape on interior cover. So I think that is... I don't know if that's overgraded. I would have graded something, especially with the hole punches and the rips and the tapes. I would have said about a 1.5 to a 1.8. So again, it goes by interpretation. Um, let's show you my book. Okay, so here is my book that I had graded recently from um, PGX. Now I'm going to show you everything but the grade. So again, I want you to get your own interpretation. So let's bring this in a little bit, and I will cover the grade. Now you can see there's a little bit of the cover missing there. There are some color breaks along the spine. The only major defect is from this point here is split. But it also has a date stamp, but there are no tears. And you could see the coloring of the letters is much clearer than the book you saw from CGC. You notice there's no stains. It's nice and white. There's no rips. Most of the damage is right there. So let me show you the back of the book. Now, the only thing I could see is there's a little bit of a stain right there. But you can see, overall, how much clearer this book is. So let me show you the whole thing from there. So you can rewind and see what you think as far as comparisons. There's no tape on the back. There aren't any stains other than that little tiny bit right there. So before I show the grade, pause this video and you tell me, now that you've seen the other book graded a 1.8, what would you grade this book? So pause the video and leave that in, your com in, in the comments section. All right, so I'm assuming that you paused it. Here is the grade that I got for this book. A 3.0 with cream to off-white pages. No tape or anything. So you tell me, based on the two that you just compared, do you think this was overgraded? I don't think so, because you're talking about the other comic. It's got hole punches, it's got stains, it's got dirt, it's got a rip, it's got tape, and that was a 1.8. This one, the only major defect is the little split on the bottom, which is about an inch long. You have some color breaks and everything, and I think a 3.0 is a fair grade and pretty spot on. But I want to show a comparison because I'm not going to sit here and say that companies don't make mistakes or they overgrade or undergrade. I mean, CGC, especially when it comes to 9.8s, they're pretty generous with their 9.8s. But to say only one company can do something like that or make it seem like every single comic that they grade is overgraded or maybe thinking that they're doing me a favor because I do the advertisement with them is just plain silly. So instead of just saying it, I wanted to show a comparison so you can make, tell me for yourself. You know, obviously I'm not here to tell you to like or use any company. I've said it before and I'll say it again. All three companies have their strengths and weaknesses. But to kind of bully one company and make up stories that are just not accurate is just not healthy and it's not the right thing to do. So is PGX not flawed? Of course, they make mistakes just like any company. But to say that they're the only one and the other two companies just do nothing wrong is being naive and it's definitely being biased. And that's not something that this channel is all about. So you may not like PGX and you may hate me for the fact that I don't have a problem with them. That's on you. But I'm here to show examples where you can make your own determinations. Because unlike a few other channels out there in the comic book 
community. I'm not telling you how to think. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm giving you my interpretation, my opinion, my my experience with something, and then I allow you to draw your own conclusions. If if this doesn't change your mind about PGX, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to make any money whether you do it or not. It's all about getting people to have more of an open mind and don't just believe everything that you hear, especially when it's a one-sided situation where you can tell a lot of anger and frustration and hatred is going towards their quote-unquote review of something. So hopefully you guys and girls out there left your comments about what grades. Tell me now that you saw the difference between the two. Do you think that that um, PGX overgraded this book or do you think it was pretty spot on? I, I don't think this is anywhere out of the realm of a 3.0 considering the 1.8 that you saw with the CGC book. So make your own determinations. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up if you appreciate it. And if you want to get um, your book slab from PGX, and of course you don't have to, but if you want to, make sure you look in the description of this and every video because if you are subscribed to my channel, you can get a 10% discount off of their grading services, which includes pressing and dry cleanings, which include both standard and modern books. It also includes signature verification. It just doesn't include shipping, handling, and insurance. You have to pay for that. Obviously, you're not going to get a discount. So if you want that, there's a code that I put in the description where you can get 10% off your services of all of those. So check that out and make sure you put that on the, um, the, the form that you fill out to send in your comics. And also, don't forget... June 30th is the deadline for anybody that signed up for the uh, cash back program where you could buy comics or anything else for that matter on eBay, Amazon, Walmart, anything. You get cash back. But if you buy $25 worth of anything before June 30th, you get that $10 cash back bonus. So that ends on June 30th. So if you signed up for it, Make sure you try and get something that's worth at least $25 before June 30th, because then technically you only spent $15 on it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, again, look in the description below this video and any video I make. There is a link that you can click on where if you sign up, you can get cash back on things that you purchase already online. It's free to do. And if, again, you do a $25 purchase or more before uh, June 30th of this year, they'll give you an additional 10 bucks. So, I mean, especially these days when I'm making videos about what books to buy, $10 off will make it even sweeter. So, thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics, and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Close in. Here we go. End the video.